Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be my version of the Christmas gift giving guide. Um, these are items that you can give year round. It doesn't just have to be for Christmas or for Hanukkah, whatever the case may be. It could be for um, Christmas, Hanukkah, Valentine's Day is coming up, um, birthdays, anniversaries, oh gosh, and the list just goes on for, you know, any time gift. Anyway, I just kind of selected a few of the things that I have really been enjoying and have been using <clears throat> that I think would make really good gifts. So, I'm going to get started because I have a few things I need to talk about and uh, we know how I like to ramble. So first I want to talk about this little guy here. This I use every single day. Now, also I didn't mention, but most of these items obviously are going to be geared toward uh, people who are beauty lovers, for sure. So, I want to talk about this mirror right here. This little lighted up mirror. This is the Simple Human Lighted, I'm going to try not to get a glare, the Lighted um, Sensor Mirror. Mine is eight inches round and it's the five times magnif magnification and it's the deck the desktop version. They do have uh, wall mounts, they have smaller ones, they have different versions of this. Um, it is around $200. Man, mine is dusty. Anyway, it has this little sensor here so when you come into um, into the mirror, <clears throat> excuse me, it lights up and then it lights up and then when you walk away it goes off. The mirror, um, the light itself mimics um, natural daylight. So there's no more of those getting outside and looking in the mirror of your visor and thinking, oh my God, my makeup looks horrible. It's not blended or I have a line or whatever the case may be because this is mimicking natural daylight. So you can actually get a good look of what you're putting on. Um, <clears throat> this little part right here adjusts so you can move it up or down however you need to and also it uh, is a cordless it does have a charging unit right here that you plug into you charge it and your charge will last anywhere from two to five weeks just depending on how long you use your mirror now I it takes me about an hour to get everything put on so mine lasts about two weeks because then I also come home in the evening time and maybe using it to take off some makeup or maybe doing my face shaving in this mirror so I can really see. So anyway, I highly, I do recommend. I've had mine going on three years now. I've had no issues with it and I love it. I recommend it. Um, the price range on that particular model is around $200. So, anyway, moving on, moving on. Next thing I want to talk about is um, something that I just got, but I'm already totally, totally in love with it and can't wait to use it. I ordered it during um, Black Friday and this was came from the um, company Muse Beauty Pro. You don't have to be a professional makeup artist to order off the line off that website. I mean, you don't have to have an account or anything like that proving that you're a makeup artist. Anyway, what I got was this guy here. And this is the Essam brush book. Okay. My husband and I, we do a lot of little weekend trips. As a matter of fact, today, today's Sunday, we are going to be going this evening to Dallas to pick up a generator. So we're going to be spending the night and I wanted something that was going to be sturdy to put my makeup brushes in that I could pack into my suitcase. This is made out of the neoprene material so it's going to wipe up and clean up wonderfully. Um, the price on this is around $48. Um, they did have it on sale for $34 and because I bought it I was able to get a discount on the next item that I'm going to show you. But anyway, let's kind of look inside of it. It's a little bit of a hard case, so it's not going to smash down too much. I liked it because it's going to hold like my long brushes. 
like this because sometimes you get the little the little brush holders and they only want to hold like the shorter brushes so let's open it up so you open it up first of all i got to mention this right here it has this little um loop right here that you can put your hand in <clears throat> it's kind of hard with my ring in anyway and then it will hold out flat like this and then you can hold it in your hand <clears throat> excuse me morning frog and then you can use it like this which is wonderful so that you have it there in your hand because i don't know about you when i'm at the hotel rooms those makeup those mirrors are horrible the lighting is horrible so i have to get up like really 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 close so this is going to be really handy because i can just hold it here in my hand and you can get you have all these little brush pockets right here you have brush pockets right here i'll put that in there so you can see there's a spot right here that you can put brushes and then there's a spot back here that you can put brushes perfect and then it has a little plastic pouch over here that you can open up that you could put um, some cosmetics in it if you wanted to or maybe some makeup wipes or whatever else that you wanted to put in there so i'm so excited about this this is actually what my husband bought me for christmas yeah okay the next thing that I got from that, the same website, because I bought that, I got a 40% discount off of another um, makeup bag type thing. And what I picked was this right here, which is called the SM Pro Makeup Kit Bag. Look at that. And it's made out of the same material, the neoprene material, that you can just wipe off with some makeup remover wipes and clean it up. Um, it has a little sleeve here that you can put over your suitcase handle so that you can put it on top of your suitcase. It also has some rings here on the side because it has a shoulder strap inside that you can wear on your shoulder. And then it has the little um, handle right here also to carry it by hand. But let's look what's inside because that is the most exciting part. Oops. And here's the little card that was in there, really cute. It also came in here with um, a little booklet of all the different items that this, this website carries. They have all kinds of different stuff. Anyway, <clears throat> this is what the inside of it looks like. You have a big um, plastic makeup pouch here, and these are Velcroed in, they come out. Then here's your shoulder strap, and then also, the way this is designed is that the brush book fits perfectly right there. Perfectly. So all my stuff is going to be here. You have two little makeup pouches here and then another big one here that is plastic. So there you go. Mm, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to get this thing loaded up for our trip tonight. Which I know you're thinking, my God, that's a lot of makeup for one night. Yeah, between all my skincare, because you all know I like skincare, and then the makeup that I wear during the day. Yeah, I need a something like this. And um, this guy and the the little pouch with the sale and everything, this was around $200. So again, you're looking at like another $200 gift. Okay. Whew. Next thing I want to talk about, and I'm really excited about this because this one you're going to have an opportunity to actually win to put into a giveaway and be able to win one of these so let me get started because i'm really excited about this gift and um i was actually contacted by this company and they did send me one to be able to wear and to test out and then be able to tell you guys about it and just let you know anyway it's a company that is out of st louis missouri I had never heard of them, but again, I had wasn't in the market for this item that I'm going to be showing you. And um, it's called the how you spell it is J O R D, but it's pronounced Yod. And what that means, it's a Swedish word, and it means for earth, soil, and land is what it means. And what I'm talking about, and you may have been seeing it kind of flashing around a little bit, is this watch right here. Look at this stunning beautiful 
to die for watch. Okay, now if you have somebody that is the hardest person in the whole entire world to buy for because they have everything, you know, the type of person that if they want something, they just go out and buy it. They don't wait for a gift. They don't wait for someone to give it to them for their birthday. I guarantee you they're not going to have anything that's going to be anything remotely like this because these are all unique. They're all one of a kind. They can all be considered a beautiful work of art to wear on your wrist. Okay, so let's kind of talk about the product itself. The watch, my watch is automatic, doesn't take batteries, so it's um, self-winding off the movement of your wrist. Um, <clears throat> it is this type of latch right here. I don't know if you can see that. Where it just snaps down and then there's the back. And also this is really good if you have someone that is maybe um, metal sensitive and can't wear like a metal band but yet they're tired of wearing like a leather band this would be a, a good gift also anyway they have all kinds of different woods that they make their watches out of um, the bands in the casing of the watch they source their woods from all over the world they have woods like ebony um, sandalwood um, maple, olive, rosewood, and then my watch itself, my watch is made out of Zoa wood. I never heard of, um, not Zoa, Koa, Koa wood. I never heard of Koa wood, so I had to look it up, and it is um, found on the Hawaiian Islands. So how cool is that? Mine is also has a, a rose goat face, and they have several, several styles to choose from. They have men's, they have women's, they even have unisex. They have small ones. Mine is more on the, the bigger size. Um, they do free shipping. They ship worldwide. They also, right now, are doing a free personalization, meaning that you can have your watch personalized or the box that it comes in can be personalized. Now, let me talk about the box because the box itself is beautiful and can be a collector's piece. It came in this beautiful wooden box with the J emblem on top, which my husband, when he seen it, he thought that they had engraved it with the J for my name because my name's anyway. So look at this what or this this box. My husband he about had a cow with this. I mean he about fell out because he loves wooden boxes with drawers. Anything that's a wooden box that has a drawer, he just thinks is great. And look. Look at this. It pulls out and it has a little wind drawer right there. So um, they do sizing, but possibly you may get your watch and maybe it's a little bit big. Like mine was, mine was still a little bit too big, so I took it to my local jeweler and had some links taken out. I could put my extra links right there. And <clears throat> you open the box, the lid comes off, and the little pillow. That it was on is this really pretty um, kind of like burlap material and then it has the yode um, name right here and it also came in with um, a little cleaning cloth to polish it and it also came with some oil to condition the wood because you want to condition your wood before you wear it and then periodically condition your wood so it doesn't dry out. okay so anyway also very well um, you can there'll be a link in the description box where you can enter the giveaway there will also be another link in the description box where you can get a $25 um, credit toward a purchase of a watch if you want to go on the or, um, credit toward a purchase of a watch if you want to go on the website and um, purchase one as a gift but anyway beautiful beautiful watch I love it thank you Yod for sending it to me and I think you should go onto the website and check it out. Okay, I have a few more gift items that I want to talk about. You can't stand here and watch me. <laughs> I have a mess. You're early. I'm not early. Oh. Anyway, I have a few more gift items that I want to talk about. One being, in particular, a magazine subscription. Um, particularly the Style Watch magazine prescription subscription. I love this. It talks about beauty. It talks about fashion. Now, we're kind of late in the game on giving a magazine subscription as a gift because usually it takes, you know, four to six weeks for those to start. 
So what you could do is get the latest edition of whatever magazine you're thinking about giving as a gift. And, you know, it can be, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, um, <coughs> It could be whatever type of magazine that person would be interested in. You know, maybe they're they like photography. You could do a photography magazine. Maybe they like um, antiques. You could do a, a magazine a subscription about antiques. You know, the list goes on and on and on. So what you can do is get the magazine that you're going to give as a subscription. Get the latest, the newest edition. And then just wrap it up and put a little note in here that says, you know, the gift that keeps on giving, be looking for, you know, 12 more throughout the year or something like that. Something really cute. So do a little magazine subscription. I don't know if a lot of people even think about doing magazine subscriptions, but I think that's a wonderful idea. <clears throat> and then the last thing that I want to talk about is gift cards. And I know a lot of people, there's a lot of controversy with gift cards. Either you like giving them or you're totally against giving them because some people feel that gift cards are very impersonal and that you're not putting any thought into it and it's just a lackluster gift. I would totally disagree with that because what I'm going to do is give you some tips on how you can make sure that the gift card that you're giving is very personalized and very well thought out. So first of all, you want to make sure that you're giving a gift card to an establishment that the person you're giving to will actually go to. Um, if they don't like makeup, don't give them a gift card to Sephora or Ulta. It's not going to get used, obviously. Maybe they are a book lover. Give them a gift card to a bookstore. And not just any bookstore. Make sure it's a bookstore that they have access to that either they go to and shop to at or that they can you know use it to order online also make sure that the amount of the gift card matches the store that you're giving them the gift gift card to for instance say you give someone a gift card to neiman marcus of course we all know that neiman marcus the average price point probably is around at least fifty dollars okay because it's a very high-end store so obviously you wouldn't want to give them a gift card to Neiman Marcus for ten dollars because let's be real what what are they going to be able to buy at Neiman Marcus for ten dollars now a ten dollar gift card to Ulta would be wonderful because there's all kinds of things that you could get at Ulta for around ten dollars you see what I'm saying just make sure that the gift card matches the person on the areas that they like to shop at if they're a movie goer they love to go to movies make sure it's a movie theater that's in their area and make sure that you put amounts on there that would cover the cost of at least a movie ticket or a movie ticket and some popcorn you know just kind of make it well thought out that way you can also wrap up your little um, gift card in a really cute packaging and then you could put a really cute um, gift topper on there and it doesn't have to be anything extravagant it could be something as like a little mini lipstick put on top of there or a lip gloss or um, if it's a guy maybe you could put like a little screwdriver set on top of your gift card package you know the the idea is endless on gift cards and then that way you know that they're getting something that they want obviously because they're going to go and get it but it's also a well thought out gift because you're thinking of the stores that they like to shop at, the things that they like, the hobbies that they have, and then you're also going to make sure that it has the amount on there that they can actually go in and, and make a purchase. Anyway, that is it for my gift giving guide. I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, make sure you go onto the Yode website and look at the beautiful watches they have, even if you don't have any intention of buying and you would just be astounded at the beauty of the different woods that they use so they are so pretty anyway thank you so much and i will talk to you soon bye